physics professor Tatiana Yorohimova is a force of nature. What's happening? What's happening? Kids are thrilled whether she's demonstrating liquid nitrogen or vacuum pumps on marshmallows. I'm pumping out air. No pressure from outside, same pressure from inside. She averages 50 shows a year on okay. campus. So I need a volunteer from each row. Undergraduate students build the models and assist, all to share their love of science. An average person can go out and do this cool physics experiment, understand it, and be able to replicate it and explain it to others. They use everyday items from balloon animals to toilet paper, all hoping to inspire the next generation of physicists. One of you has to find the material that behaves as a superconductor at room temperature. Nobel Prize is guaranteed. Don't forget to send me email when you get it. She's been doing this since 2007, and it's helped recruit new Aggies. Some students who were here in middle school, I see them in my class, they tell me, do you remember me? Not really, but yes. <laughs> Energy, joy, and knowledge are infectious. We have 1.93 million subscribers on the Texas A&M Physics channel. Yeah, isn't it crazy that physics has more subscribers than Texas A&M Athletics? <laughs> it's hard not to be excited once you see all these super cool experiments. Look, no strings, ma. <laughs> and it hasn't just generated all that social media excitement, but dollars and cents as well. Distinguished professor of physics Ed Fry began the shows at a hugely popular annual physics festival. Both have helped with endowments and gifts. I think about 65 million or something like that. As for the kids, what are they talking about? Something that um, that's a superconductor at room temperature. In love on. physics. And just turned into my new favorite subject. Liquid nitrogen goes in. Because basic science can be explosive. <laughs> and rain down all kinds of new ideas. In College Station, Sherman Min Chow, KHOU, 11 News. show. My name is Dr. Tatiana. I teach physics here and if you come here and you major in science or engineering you might be in my class and we'll have a great time. Promise. I have great students helping us today. Kennedy, Caitlin and Jacob. We really appreciate them. Okay. All right. So physics show. What's physics? Gravity. Gravity. What else? Moving. Motion. What else? Come on, physics is fun. So fun, physics is fun. Let, let me ask you something. Do you really need to buy expensive airplane tickets to be up in the cloud? No, you just come to the physics department and we will make a cloud for you. Okay, people, cheer me up. Three, two, one. Aha. Thank you. Listen, 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 listen. How did we make it? What did I have in this door? Teach me. What? What? Liquid nitrogen. Liquid nit what is liquid nitrogen? You are sitting here and breathing. Are you still breathing there? Hmm? What do you breathe? That's it? Just oxygen? You are breathing air. And air is mostly nitrogen. Air is mostly nitrogen. What I have here in this door is liquid nitrogen. No, it's solid. Basically liquefied air. It means that if I have nitrogen as liquid and I decrease temperature by just this 14 degrees, what will I have? Instead of nitrogen as liquid, I'll have nitrogen as solid. What is solid nitrogen? It's basically solid air. Have you ever seen solid air? I'll make some for you, but let's do one more cloud. One more cloud and we'll talk again. Three, two, one. Tell me, tell me, what is this smoke? How did we do it? What is this smoke? I pour liquid nitrogen on this carpet. What is this smoke? What is it? It's water vapor. You're right. It's a cloud. It's water vapor. Moisture is condensed 
because of low temperature of liquid nitrogen. And what we see is a real cloud. Moisture is condensed. What we made is a real cloud. Do you want to go big? Yes. Yes. That's it for big? Yes. Yes. Kettles. Let's go big. Yeah. We will cover our computers. By the way, we cover our computers, we don't cover students. How will I go big? Let's think about it. So I have huge difference in temperature. Liquid nitrogen is crazy cold. But now what I will do, I will put hot water in this pot. Hot water, boiling water. Aha, boiling water goes in. Boiling water, thank you. Boiling water goes in. Mm hmm OK. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Negative 196, boiling temperature for nitrogen. Is it really cold? Can we meet such low temperature on our planet? Not in Texas. No. Let's move to Antarctica. What's the lowest temperature what, is that we can meet on our planet? Negative 89. Antarctica, that's temperature record. Negative 89. It's still much, much higher than temperature of liquid nitrogen. We are lucky. That's why we have our atmosphere as gas and water as liquid. Now tell me something else. Crazy cold liquid, crazy cold. 400 Fahrenheit, colder than temperature of my skin. Can I put my finger in liquid nitrogen? No, no, no. So liquid nitrogen goes into this flask. You see liquid nitrogen? I teach next time on Wednesday, 9, 10, upstairs. If something happens with me, you will substitute for me. Sounds like a plan? Say yes, play along. OK, listen to me, people. Three, two, one. Oh, no, ah, nothing. Oh. Ah, ah. Ten more times and I will go. Why? How can I do that? Why I can do it? Let's think about it. Liquid nitrogen is very dangerous. We need to understand what we are doing. It's called Leidenfrost effect. Leidenfrost effect. Think about it. What happens when I put my finger in liquid nitrogen? There is huge difference in temperature between my finger and liquid nitrogen. So liquid nitrogen starts evaporating vigorously, and it creates a cushion, cushion of nitrogen vapor around my finger. And this cushion protects my finger, but just for a second. If I keep it a little bit longer, I do get severe frostbite. Never do that. You have to be very careful, and you have to be well trained when you work with liquid nitrogen. Now. Cloud for you. What happens with motion of molecules? We have gas, then I decrease temperature. Motion of molecules will slow down. Forces between them will become stronger and stronger. And finally, these forces will win. Instead of gas, I will have liquid. Instead of liquid, I will have solid. It's phase transitions. You know that. Any abrupt change from one state of matter to another. Our phase trans first phase transition will be with this little flask. And let's see. And this long, long balloon. Can I put this long, long balloon into this little flask? Can I do that? Can I do that? Can I do that? No? Come on, physics can do everything. Let's think about it. What should I do? Deflate. How? No, it's mine. I will not pop it. What do I do? Liquid nitrogen, how will it help me? I will put it in liquid. 
liquid nitrogen, I will cool it down. Motion of molecules will slow down. Pressure will drop dramatically. And then I will have smaller volume. Let's see. If you see any change, let me know immediately, immediately, immediately. Oh! What's happening? What's happening? Where does the air go? Where does it go? Where, where, where? It's getting smaller because we cool it down. Pressure drops and it needs smaller volume. We did it, people. We did it. We did it. Now close your ears. If you don't like noise, because it's a balloon, you never know. Balloons sometimes pop, you never know. No drama if they do. We never give up. We'll make it work no matter what. It's coming back. Why? Why? Because now it's warming up, right? It's warming up. Liquid evaporates, turns into gas, and gas occupies all this space. It is back. We did it. Do you like it? Yeah. Ah, boring. Can dog go in this door? Yeah, yeah sure, why not? No. Doggy, please. No. 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 please. No. Who is next? Giraffe. Yeah. Can giraffe go? Yeah. So offensive, so offensive. <laughs> Elephant goes in. Can I keep it? Snake. Can I keep it? Can I keep one? Snake. 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 Who is ready for giraffe? If it pops, no drama, okay? It's a balloon, you never know. Hold it. Next. Aha! Our snake is coming. If it pops, no drama. It's an experiment, you never know. Doggy! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Who wants snake? Snake? Good. Thank you. Thank you. Snake? If it pops, no drama. Now, 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 now. Let's check. Giraffe. Ah! Giraffe has leg, leg problem, but we have large animal clinic here. Large animal clinic. Fixed it. Perfect. Hold it. Bring it up. Elephant. Look. Elephant is in perfect shape. Perfect shape. Bring it up. Doggy. Tail is up. That's the most important. Ah! Ah! We have you up. Ear infection, but we have small animal clinic back. Snake is in perfect shape. <laughs> shape. And doggy up. We did it! <laughs> Those are real, tell them. Real, right? <laughs> now flowers go in liquid nitrogen. <gasps> Remind me, what is this smoke? What? Vapor. Water vapor. Water vapor. OK. Now I take them out. Enjoy the cloud. Isn't it a nice cloud? But you know what? Flowers become brittle. At low temperature. And they don't come back. Do not allow people to freeze you. That's what I do with flowers that my husband brings me. No. What we will do, we will take a bottle. And I will fill it up in liquid nitrogen, just a little bit. Then we will close it, we will seal it, and we will put it into this barrel with water. All right, let's do more. Sure, why not? Liquid. 